Jesus warns us that before his coming, many false Christs and false prophets will arise with false signs and wonders and will mislead, if possible, even the elect. False teachers and leaders like Benny Hinn, Bill Johnson, and others are in fact deceiving many, many people with their false doctrines of demons. Take for example the well-known Joyce Meyer who's been falsely preaching for many, many years. Don't ever stop hoping. Hope is the expectation that God is about to do something amazing in your life. And so I want you to be full of hope. And I don't want you to have a bad life, a bad month, a bad week, a bad day, or a bad hour, because Jesus came that we might have and enjoy our lives and have it in abundance to the full. Notice how Joyce Meyer is twisting scripture and using John 10.10, 10, where Jesus came that they may have life and have it abundantly. She implies that Jesus came to give us a trouble-free, illness-free life, and he doesn't want us to have a bad day or even a bad hour. Jesus said in this world you will have tribulation, Matthew 24, 9. In Mark 13, you will be hated by all because of my name, he says. Jesus also taught that a servant is not above his master. And through much tribulation, you must enter the kingdom, Acts 14:22. The context of John 10.10 10 is Jesus, the Good Shepherd, in contrast to the false shepherds, which Joyce Meyer is one, who come only to steal, kill, and to destroy. Many pastors today present a different gospel and have another Jesus. Paul in Galatians writes, I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, which is really not another, only there are some who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached to you, he is to be accursed. In 2 Corinthians 11.4, Paul writes that there will be those that will come with a different gospel and a different spirit. And in 11.14 and 15, it says, No wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Therefore, it is not surprising if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness, whose end will be according to their deeds. Jesus warned us, in the last days there will be many false prophets and in Matthew 24 5 he says many will come in my name saying I am the Christ and will mislead many as believers we need to be sure we have the right Jesus Jesus tells us in John 8 12 I am the light of the world he who follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life thank you and God bless